Well, everybody, I have a partner today. Get up here. Get up here. I have my dog, Ella, filming with me today. She doesn't want to leave my side as I'm trying to film this. So hopefully we can get through this whole bit. Hey travelers, my name is Juliana and that's my husband Martine. We've been traveling around the world for four years and fitting it into our lives any way possible, whether that be volunteering in hostels, working on cruise ships, taking short weekend adventures, or living as expats working remotely. Our goal is to show you how to have unique and memorable trips no matter what your circumstances. Skincare on the road can be difficult, especially because you're dealing with so many different environments. Sometimes you might be in humidity, the airplanes are super dry and dry out your skin, and then you're dealing with jet lag and breakouts. And skincare is really hard to keep up with, especially if you're so tired. I've been doing so much research on skincare lately, and it's been so much fun for me. I love the videos by Mixed Makeup and Hiram over here on YouTube. They are definitely very knowledgeable in skincare, so if you want to learn more about it, I would suggest watching their channels, which I'll link down below. For me, I've always had combination skin. I tend to break out a ton on my chin. Um, it's hormonal or due to like fragrance that I use. I have pretty sensitive skin. Whereas the rest of my skin is dry or just normal. So my skin's been kind of weird. Uh, but I finally figured out a skincare routine that works well for me. And I wanted to share it with you guys since um, it has been life-changing. And skincare is obviously so personal, uh, but I really do hope that these products help you guys out. I do have two more expensive products that I am gonna show in this video, but the rest are drugstore options or super cheap. So let's get started with this video and you guys can learn about my favorite skincare that I use while on the road. I will link all the products down below in the description in their full size as well as travel size if I can find them. So make sure you check that out if there's any products here that you'd be interested in buying. Let's get started. First off, number one, my favorite cleanser and I use it in the morning and the night. It's the Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser from Youth to the People. This is so good. I love that it comes with a pump. It's in a glass bottle and you might be thinking, you travel with this? No, I actually found a travel size option that I totally love. It's this one um, right here. I got it at Sephora. This is actually how I started trying this to begin with. And then I bought the full size one. I just refill this every time I go on the road. It lasts me a really long time. And best of all, it is super gentle on the skin and it doesn't strip your skin, which is so important. Um, I love this and I've definitely seen a difference since I began using them. Number two is SPF. It's very important that you put on some sort of SPF before you leave the house. And I really like this option because after I cleanse, I can put this on and it both moisturizes and protects my skin. I love that it has three essential ceramides, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acid in it as well. Hyaluronic acid is so great because it draws in moisture to your skin a definite must when you're on the plane, which I'll get into that in a second. Niacinamide is awesome for healing acne scars, which I tend to have a lot of, and this alone has changed my skin. I didn't wear much SPF for a long time because I was worried that since I break out in my chin area that it would cause me to break out even more because that's typically what sunscreen does, but this does not. It works great and I love it. Now, back to the moisture aspect of this and hyaluronic acid. When you are traveling on airplanes, there is little moisture in the air and it is so drying. And I wanted to provide a quick tip to you guys. I see people all the time putting on masks on airplane, doing their skincare on airplanes, which props to you. But I think it's important to recognize that actually the most beneficial thing you can do for your skin is to do a very complete moisturization before you go on the plane and after. What happens in the middle, it's not really gonna make too much of a difference and it can actually harm your skin, especially if you're using products like hyaluronic acid, which draw in moisture from the air. If it can't find that because you're in such a dry environment, it might actually cause you to break out more or just cause more problems with your skin. So big tip to you guys is to do your full routine before and right after. Don't worry about doing it on the plane. Also, SPF is something important to use when you're flying because there are a lot of UV rays that do come into the plane when you are flying and um, you wanna make sure you're protected when you're way up there. So this is my favorite SPF. Next, we have an eye cream. This is the Olay Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. This is the other expensive item that I have here. I promise after this, it gets a lot cheaper, but I love this eye cream because it has this yellow color to it, which cancels out 
bags under your eyes. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. And I, a lot of makeup artists I know use this and that's why I got it. And it is, it's lasted me a really long time. It has vitamin C in it. And it's just my favorite for when I'm leaving the house without makeup. Okay, this guy is one of my favorite discoveries. We're gonna move into my nighttime routine now. So I'll start off my nighttime routine when I'm wearing makeup with the Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm Original. This, I believe, is a Korean skincare product by Vanillico, and I got it on Amazon, and it's amazing. I was afraid of balm cleansers because, like I said, I break out on my chin because it's oily, and the idea of putting a balm on there sounds like it will clog my pores, but actually what you do is it comes with this little scooper, and you take just a little bit of it, you rub it in your palms, and put it all over your face, and it takes off all your makeup. I really believe in double cleansing. It's changed the game for me. So you start off with something like this to take off all your makeup and then go in with your cleanser. Your face is so clean and it doesn't strip your skin. It's perfect because a cleanser alone won't get rid of your makeup. You need to go in with something like this that's really gonna take that makeup off. Uh, I really like to take this uh, bigger product and scoop it into some smaller little, uh, let me grab them. When I'm traveling, I like to take my balm cleanser and transfer it into just like a small container like this and you just need a little bit of it anyway and this will last you a long time but I love that product to take off my makeup it is definitely a must even gets off your eye makeup like I said at nighttime use the balm first then the cleanser and then I like to go in with hyaluronic acid um, this is the 2% plus B5 from the ordinary oh my gosh this brand is so cheap I'm talking like between five to maybe eleven dollars sometimes and it comes in these bottles that are perfect for traveling with and hyaluronic acid like I said it helps bring moisture to your skin this is a great one to lather up with before you go on a plane to keep yourself all hydrated um, this is definitely more of like a fun little fluff kind of thing to throw in your skincare so if you're wanting to minimize this I'd say this is the first one to go um, but it does add like a little boost after you wash your face and before you put on moisturizer. Very important to remember that you do need to use moisturizer when you also use hyaluronic acid because it's going to be looking for moisture to dry in and you want to create that barrier for it to um, grab onto and enter your skin with. After I use the hyaluronic acid, I like to go in with the CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. Um, this also has three essential ceramides, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acid, and is oil-free. It's basically the partner to the SPF I showed earlier. And once again, with both of these, you can feel free to transfer them into a travel size option if you need that. Next, let's talk retinol. Um, retinol is one of those magic potions that I wish I would have used many years ago. It helps to get rid of wrinkles, it helps with acne, it is just like purely magic. And the problem with retinol is that it tends to be very expensive, like sometimes $100. But The Ordinary has one that was so affordable. It's the Retinol 0.5% in Squalene. I was worried because this does feel kind of oily, but it didn't make me break out. Um, just keep in mind that when you're first starting to use retinol, maybe use it twice a week. So I always do it on Wednesday and Saturday. Um, but after a while, your skin gets so used to it and it does magic. And the last product I love is the Ordinary AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. I use this one to two times a week as a chemical exfoliant. Um, I found that the physical exfoliants do not work well for my skin. This one, it goes on red, um, kind of looks like blood, which is <laughs> kind of fun to play around with, but um, you keep it on for like 10 minutes, I think it is, and then you wash it off. Um, but make sure you don't use retinol on the days you use this. Um, so you should just go in with your moisturizer instead. But this is great uh, to keep my skin fresh while on the road. And that's it, that's my skincare that I use. I know this video was totally different than I normally do, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and it was helpful to someone out there. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more fun videos coming up in the near future. Love you guys so much. So long, travel well, and make the world your neighborhood. See you guys next time, bye. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Did you know we have a Patreon? All our members get access to monthly income reports, exclusive podcasts, access to our private Facebook group, and even a copy of my ebook, Puerto Vallarta Like a Local. Business and first class patrons also get a postcard from us each month. Thanks so much for the support. Click the Patreon logo on the screen to join our family.